So, Kaminari is obviously the villain, is the traitor of the Boku no Hero world. Boku no Hero universe. <laughs> How do you know it's Kaminari? It's a trailer. Well, I'm sure you've heard of it. If you want, if you read Boku no Hero, I'm sure you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about. If, if you're a light reader, if you're a casual reader, you probably, maybe you don't. This theory, this Kaminari trader theory is really popular. Everyone loves it. Everyone thinks it's the truth, and honestly, it's hard to argue. But I, I did come up with some arguments. Of course, guys, of course I came up with some arguments against this, okay? Because, in my opinion, this is a little too obvious. It's too obvious that he's a he's a traitor. If you look at the data, if you look at the argument, the guy looks like a traitor. His his one downside. I mean, what if he is faking it? What if he is really powerful? Because if he is faking that, he'd be really fucking strong, right? Perfect for a traitor. The GPS. He's a walking GPS. According to the text, he's a walking GPS. Okay, so like, and it even they even said multiple times that's how the. Uh, Villain Alliance is finding them. It is some sort of communication tracking. Uh, look at this. Look at this panel. Conveniently, he's not in his sleeping bag. Uh, the night the villains attack the camping trip, right? And Jiro actually is. So people are using that as an argument. Say Kyoka is not the traitor, and that uh, where else would Kaminari be? You know, where, where is Kaminari? Now, I, this is part of the reason I think it's a little too obvious because the thing is, this sleeping bag theory and a lot of these theories and a lot of these suggestions. Still, they don't indict him. I think this would be a great uh, impact for the story, right? I think most of the characters would be like, Whoa, what's going on? Come here, I thought you were an idiot. I thought you were an idiot, dude. I, th I, I knew you were pretty strong. And I knew you were walking GPS. And, you know, they, they we keep getting attacked by these villains. And also, um, you know, you, you kind of act suspicious a lot of the time. It's too happy to go lucky. But, you know, I, I was certain... Hey, you were an ally. And then, you know, turns out he's a villain and everybody is shocked. But no, no, the readers wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I think everyone would be like, all right, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Actually, I expected that. I predicted that, you know. Half of 4chan is like, oh, of course. Of course I knew that. So I, I don't think it's the case. I, I don't think Kaminari is a villain. I think someone else is a villain. I think this is a little too obvious. It's a little too fake. And there's nothing concrete. Or, no, <laughs> you might be saying, Corey, you're, you're just the... Fucking uh, idiot! You know you can't look at the avoiding the avoiding the facts. Now you might be right. Maybe I am. Maybe I am avoiding the facts. But um, what if he is the villain? What if I'm wrong? What if he is the villain and everyone else is right? Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna say there's more going on. There's more going on. There's either a second villain. I mean, a traitor. Why do I keep saying villain? I don't know, guys. It's because Kaminari's original design was pretty much a villain, so that's why. But there's either a second traitor. That's I think, or. Um, Kaminari being a traitor has other implications. That's why I think that the only way Kaminari could be the traitor is if, is if, and this will be actually really interesting, is if Kaminari being the traitor is purposely obvious to uh, hide the real truth. That to make us all to make us all shocked. That's what I think. I actually really do think there's something else going on. I think that there's multiple spies. There's something going on. I really do. And the other reason I think so is because I think Horikoshi is doing this on purpose. I think he's making Kaminari look like the traitor on purpose because there's no, there, there's a very few of the uh, students could be. Now, you may be wondering, maybe a teacher's a traitor. Well, fuck you. Okay, he's not. Look, none of the teachers are traitors. It's one of the students. And um, none of the students, besides like three, maybe four of them, even have a possibility. Like, a lot of people are saying Ojiro is a traitor. How? How could he be a traitor? Like, he has a tail. That's his ability. So, unless he's hiding an ability, uh, what is what exactly is he doing? To, how exactly is he being a traitor? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's the same with the sugar guy. Like, how exactly would the sugar dude be a traitor at all? Most of the main cast pretty much can't be a traitor, you know. Now, compare this to Bleach when Aizen was a traitor. The thing with Aizen is like, yeah, okay, Aizen was the traitor, but one, it was being framed that Gin was the traitor. Two, they actually were both traitors along with Tosen. Uh, so that's what I think is going to happen in, in um, uh, Boku no Hero. I think that possibly, not just Kaminari is a traitor, but maybe he's not even the main traitor. Maybe there's multiple traitors. Maybe he's not a traitor. Maybe he's just being framed as a traitor. I still think Kyoko is a traitor. I still do. I still do, guys. I still do. Now, I think that um, the fact that Kyoka and Kaminari are 
sort of being paired up. They're kind of being shipped up. I think that's a good thing. I think that actually... I think that's going to make a really interesting plot because uh, earlier in chapter 102, we saw how uh, Mina Ashiro... Mina Ashiro! We saw... We saw how she, she said she can compare anything to a love story. Now, if we're getting a love story between Kaminari and Kyoka, and very likely Kaminari is the, the traitor, then I'm thinking that there's definitely going to be a relationship developed between either one of them or Ochaku and uh, Deku. I think through one of these love stories, you know, love stories, I think it's the front, and that's going to lead directly into the traitor popping out. Another element of this traitor theory is that when, uh, Gas, gas man, dark gas man, when he, when he went down, because he was blocking the communications of the USJ, right? When he went down, the communication blocking stopped, but he went down the same time as Kaminari, so a lot of people are saying that it's actually Kaminari blocking the communications. So therefore, uh, you, know, you know, this is only an added hint, but again, it doesn't actually, it's not, that's not necessarily true, and again, it doesn't actually prove anything, you know, that idea doesn't prove anything. Another element of this theory was the fact that very early on it was mentioned that Kaminari's quirk can actually be used as a communication device. He is a walking GPS. But the problem there is uh while that's true and it's like it's it's strongly it's, it's not certain that he's a traitor. How did they know that um they would be at USJ? We knew they knew they'd be at the camping trip because they use a signal. But as Aizawa said, uh, any any of the students could use their cell phone for that fact. It, it didn't necessarily have to be Kaminari. Now, we don't know exactly how Kurogudi's uh, quirk works. So maybe when uh, Kaminari and the rest of the group got to USJ, maybe Kaminari sent out a signal and then the dude created a warp gate there. Maybe they knew ahead of time. Therefore, this plan, this attack was set up. And it's the same reason I think Kyoka is actually more likely a villain than Kaminari is because how would they have known they were going on a trip at all to USJ? Right here is, a, is the best example. My Hero Academia, chapter 13, page 7. It was decided you'll be supervised by a three-man team comprising me, all might, and someone else. And then Deku, my boy Deku. It was decided it might be a special place then. And then we see Sarah Hunter. You guys know who it is, Sarah Hunter. Sensei, what will we be doing? So he doesn't know, so how the hell is Kaminari supposed to know what they're doing? Be be the hero everyone needs, otherwise it's a flutter and a disaster. It's a trial of rescue, you guys already know. Kaminari! Trial rescue sounds a bit difficult this time around. Totally. Come on, dumbass, that's what a hero's job is supposed to be. I'm chomping at the bits. Uh, the only way Kaminari is truly a traitor here is that if he knew... The, uh, they were going on a trip before they went on the trip. Like, he didn't know. None of them knew what they were doing. Or they, they were even going anywhere. Um, or that All Might was coming. Right? But the Villain Alliance knew that All Might was there. And they knew they were going somewhere. So now what if Kaminari was used, being used as a GPS? They were using him to find where the spot was. But it still doesn't explain how they knew the, that the USJ was being set up at all. So, I don't really see how Kaminari was complicit in this. Maybe it's a two-pronged attack between Kyoka and Kaminari, and neither one of them know each other is the traitor. I think it's possible. What if the Villain Alliance is using Kaminari, and he's not even aware of it? I think that's possible, too. I don't see how Kaminari alone would have figured out the USJ attack. Now, this is the reason I believe Kyoka is a traitor, is because one, nobody expects her. Two, everybody expects Kaminari, and everybody wants it to be Kaminari. And three, Kyoka could have hear. She can hear through walls. She could have very easily heard them setting up this plan. Knowing where the attack is isn't that big of a deal. You can use a cell phone signal. Aizawa even said that very clearly. The fact that Kyoka was sleeping when they attacked USJ it means almost nothing. What if Kaminari was simply going to the bathroom? Like, like why would he, would he, is he the traitor? Because he's taking a leak at a midnight, you know? So I, I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he's the villain. I actually think, I still think Kyoko's the villain. I think this Kaminari traitor theory, it's really hot. It has a lot of holes in my opinion. And it has nothing certain. There's no certain evidence. So, anyway guys, 
That's my thoughts on this commentary theory. What are you guys' opinions? What do you guys think? Do you think Wukukur is just a flaming homo? I mean, what do you think? I want to know. Do you think there's multiple traitors? Is it possible that All Might is the traitor? What do you guys think? <laughs> anyway, guys! Thanks for watching my video! Thanks for embracing my opinions. Or maybe you rejected my opinions. Because you think I'm an idiot. Why am I, why am I so self-deprecating? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>